हेलो अस्सलाम वालेकुम फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय न्यू ट्यूटोरियल ऑफ आवर फैक्ट्री आईओ ट्यूटोरियल सो वी आर गोइंग टू प्रोग्राम अ सीन एंड वी हैव अ कवरेज स्टेशन सो यू विल सी अ वीडियो ऑफ ऑफ अ कवरेज स्टेशन ऑफ अ फैक्ट्री आईओ सीन वी आर गोइंग टू आई एम गोइंग टू शो अ प्रोग्राम आई क्रिएटेड फॉर इट एंड हाउ यू क्रिएटेड इट सो यू विल सी दैट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एम गोइंग टू अप एंड इट इज माय कनेक्टेड टू माय पीएलसी and the same is i am going to make an auto which is our that you will see auto button first of all we move that button to our i'm going to do that and here is our start button you will see here बटन and you will see we also have an emergency so i am make created an emergency there because emergency is an nc so you will see that now you will see i also set conveyor 1 and conveyor 2 and also an exit conveyor so here is our conveyor 1 is conveyor 2 and exit conveyor then you will see that i am going to down you will see auto at nt1 So where is at entry one? Here is our at entry one. I am going to show you at entry one. When the uh, loader, when the load, they uh, touch that at entry. So you will see what is that and at entry close means that one sensor need to be closed because we don't use both at the same times. we use a uh, both this both at different times because when we when first is loading then second will be stop then when second is loading then first will be stop so you will see that it will set load one so you will see that load one is closed and then it will set load one and load two is closed when load two is closed then it will set load two so you will see it will reset conveyor two so where is our conveyor two Here is our conveyor two. You will see that it will reset conveyor two and reset our load two. So here is our load two. You will see that load two. Then the down below. You will see that it is also as the same as the below, same as the above. We just change something. So you will see what we are going to change and just to make it ten times more. So you will see that. Here is an at entry one. Here is an at entry two. It is at entry two and at entry one. We use NC load one, load two, and it will set the load two. I am going to make it larger. So you will see that the same opposite. It is the same opposite logic, but which is not which things is loading in that and. Uh, the next one will be loading for load two. So you will see that it will reset our conveyor one. So reset load two. That is our conveyor one. And then in the next, you will see at exit. So where is our at exit? At exit. If at entry two is closed, then it will set conveyor one. And if to entry one is closed, then it will set conveyor two. So you will see that. Here is our at exit. When at exit touch, and there is nothing at at entry two, then it will set conveyor one. If there is at entry one, then it will set conveyor two. So you will see it will also an opposite. We use as an NC there. So the down below, you will see at transfer. So what is at transfer? At transfer is that sensor. You will see at transfer one, at transfer two. So at transfer two, you will see the same as it will reset load two. Reset load two means that is our load. It will reset our load two. Then it will unload our uh, reset our unload two. Also an unload two it will reset. Then 
So we'll see set transfer left one and transfer left two. So where is transfer left one? So you will see the transfer left one. You will see transfer left two. But here is transfer left one because it will move our box from there to there, from that one to there. So you will see that after I am going to run that, so you will understand what is going to be done. So you will see that it will also do transfer one. And after at the touches to transfer one, then it will reset both and set load one. So you will see that after it is touches the transfer one like that, it will reset our it will uh, reset our both uh, transfer left one and transfer left two, and then set our load. So you will see that it will set our load like that. Load that load. You will see that then in the below you will see if both is on both sensor is on means the box is on the both on the way then what it will lead to you will see that both the box is there then and transfer left right one and transfer right two is closed then what it will lead to it will only use the first one the first line only will use if both have in boxes so you will see it will set load one then it will set conveyor one reset conveyor two reset load two reset and load one because we if we if there is both two loads there then we we, we are going to set that the, that can be only use the that one line so you will see here is some text i am going to show you tags and these tags you will see that I also already created in my ladder logic so you will see that in my program I also created that everything is ready and after the cover registration the last one there is no any counter but if we want to add any counter so it will easy to put counter so it will just a simple language I am just adding a counter so I am going to search at exit where is that exit at exit, at exit. so the PLC tag I also have so we are going to make a logic for it in it there auto must be on and then I am going to use a positive edge there so the negative I think is best at exit and then the below I am going to use at exit one and we are going to use an increment there where is our math increment there and our counter so that's it I am going to compile that save that also compile that one and download into my PLC after everything is going to done I am just going to show you I will set and reset my PLC you will see that what is will do because uh, emergency stop button is NC I am just stop it and run it so you will see that watch is ready so then I am going to press emergency so you will see that it will fall and you will see it will on so that's how I am just converting to auto so you will see that I am just transfer to auto so you will see that auto is on now I am starting so 
Thank you very much. 